And here she is. Everybody, please help me welcome Jessica Andrews. Good to have you here. Thank you. Got a lot of fans here. I'm a big fan of the show. Really? I love this show. It's good when to I'm, hear that. When I'm at home, I watch it all You're the time. Yeah, you've been busy. You've been on the road. Yes, I've been on the road touring. Uh, kicked off a tour the week of Fanfare with Billy Gilman, the Equals 29 tour. And it's, it's awesome. We're having a great time. Is, uh, is there any pressure, though? Now, this is a headlining act for you. I mean, is there any pressure with that? Because after your opening for so many acts? Uh, you know, it's a little, it's a little different because... Uh, my first two years, um, I was on the road with Faith Hill and Trisha Yearwood, and um, so I was a little apprehensive about going out and going to have to carry a, more of the responsibility of all the people coming to the shows, and they're not only there to see, you know, the me, but they're there to see Billy, and, uh, you know, it's, you just have to make sure you give them a good show and have lots of fun, and that's what it's all about. Well, I know the fans are loving it. I know yeah, they are, they are having a great time. Yes, they are. They are. We, have, we have people from, I mean, this little at our shows with their parents and teenagers and grandparents. We have a wide variety of ages you at really? these shows, yeah. What's a, what's a show day like for you? So you, you wake up and walk me through your day. A show day, let's see. Um, well, on a show day, we would usually wake up around 11. <laughs> sometimes 12, <laughs> sometimes 1, sometimes 9. Depends on the day, depends on how late we were up the night before, um, we'll wake up, kind of go do whatever's in that town, um, shopping, if there's, if we're at a theme park, which we play lots of theme parks uh, on this tour, theme parks, um, we'll go ride rides, or we'll go work out, take walks. Work out? We have, I have my dog on the road on with tour. me. Oh, do you really? Yes. What's he's your dog's a little name? Pomeranian. His name's Rocco. Rocco. So he's on the road with me, so he has to go out frequently, so we take him out for walks and stuff, and then... We go to the venue, uh, we have sound check, catering, and then it's showtime. Catering. That catering. Would be, that would be my favorite part. Now, well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I was always there. Sometimes catering can be a little, uh, sometimes, we have lots of chicken. Chicken. Lots of chicken. Chicken, every kind of way you can imagine. Barbecue chicken, marinated chicken, all kinds of chicken. Is that your favorite? Well, it's not my favorite. I don't really have a choice. Now, when you get to the <laughs> level where you carry out your own catering, then you can tell the chefs to make you whatever you want. But we're not there yet. <laughs> well, no, speaking, speaking of like level, you mentioned uh, Trisha and Faith earlier. Mm -hmm. When you were, you were touring with them, did you learn anything from them uh, that you're working oh, on now? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I learned lots of things from them. Um, they, they're an amazing performers. I mean, just to watch them night after night on stage, right. communicating with the audience, you know, they've been doing it for many years, and this is only my third year, so getting to be a part of that, you know, I would get a stool and sit on the side of the stage and watch every move they made, and I think it helped me a lot, you know, because I've watched lots of concerts, and I think the best learning experience you can ever have is to actually be out on the road and to be a part of it and get out there every single night and learn what works on stage and learn what doesn't work, and that's the only way you can get better, I think. Yeah, I'm sure you've got a, a few girls out there that are watching you and learning. Uh, so. Well, <laughs> I'm still learning myself, lots of things. Well, you're doing a great job. Thank I still you. want to talk to you some more about that and your album, too. Sure. We've got to get back to the countdown, but don't worry. She's going to stick right here with us. And would you do the honors of introducing our next video? Sure. At number six, it's Carolyn Don Johnson with Complicated. <laughs> that was singer-songwriter Carolyn Don Johnson hanging in there at number six. And we're back with Jessica Andrews. Speaking of singer-songwriter, you have a songwriting credit on this album. Yes, I do. How did that um, come about? Well, uh, I wanted to do some writing for this album, and um, it wasn't my first attempt at writing, but I made myself a list of writers that I wanted to write with, and at the top of my list was Annie Roboff and Becca Bramlett. And Annie has had many hits. Becca Bramlett is probably one of the most talented singers I've ever heard in my life. Really? So I had them at the top of my list, and we went into the writing session, and with three girls in the room, it kind of seemed like our conversations always started drifting towards guys and how we felt guys should treat girls. So we came up with the idea, good friend to me, which means, you know, before anything else in a relationship, we've got to be good friends. So uh, that's how we came up with the title. And we thought it was really fun, and the track is really energetic, so we thought it would be something really cool for the album. Yeah, do you want to work with them in the future as oh, well? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, were so, they were so cool. So much fun to write with. Were they really? I wish that some of you could have been flies on the walls when we were 
writing this song because we were like chewing on celery sticks, which I never eat celery. And it was somehow we just got so, you know, into this song that we're just like tearing up this celery and writing and we had so many ideas. It was it was hilarious. So that's the uh, creative process. Lots of vegetables. Lots of vegetables. Take notes. <laughs> we have uh, we have some phone calls right here. Some people that want to ask you a question. Sure. Uh, John, are you there? Yes, I am. How you doing, John? Pretty good. From South Dakota, what's your question for uh, Jessica Andrews? I wanted to ask her what her music biggest musical influence was. Your biggest musical influence. Hi, John. Hi. Um, my biggest musical influence, I would have to say when I first started singing, which was when I was 10 years old, I idolized Whitney Houston. And I think she is probably my favorite singer on this planet. She just has the richest tones and everything. So I probably would have to say... And I used to read her, uh, the Bodyguard soundtrack, and read who her producers were and who her record label was, and I wanted everything like her. I mean, she was just my favorite. So I'd have to say Whitney when I was 10. Sing a little bit of I Will Always Love You Around the House. I sang it. That was my signature song. Really? I sang it everywhere. <laughs> we, uh, we have another one on the line, another Jessica, actually. Jessica, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Jessica. <laughs> Hi. What's your question? Um, I just wanted to say that I've seen you in Emmons Auditorium in Indiana, and you was awesome. You was with Kenny Chesney. I remember that. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I just wanted to know, what was your favorite song that you recorded off your upcoming album? Favorite song that you recorded off the album? Off the latest album? I guess off uh, the latest album. Yeah. Favorite, my favorite song that I recorded uh, for this album would have to be a song called um, Every Time and Who I Am. <laughs> Who I Am is a, a very special song to me. I, I cannot tell you how I felt the first time I heard that. It just was like me. I was listening to a song that was written about me. But uh, Every Time was also a song that when I heard, I just got so swept up in it. I just thought it had the most beautiful melody and lyrics and probably those two. Is that how you, you go about picking songs, perhaps? Is just the way it makes you feel inside? Yeah, you know, if I listen to lots of songs and one out of 30, if one of them makes me go wow, that's really cool, then I know that we should probably give it a shot. All right, well, you seem to do just fine doing oh. that. Well, thank you. we got to get back to our countdown right now, but Jessica will be back to world premiere her new video, Helplessly Hopelessly, in a few, right? You're oh, be yeah, back? absolutely. Okay. Good, but first, to help us catch our second win, here's Daryl Worley at number five. Most Wanted Live, Toby Keith is up next in our countdown, and I'm going to take you. a look at your uh, video right here in a second. Did you have fun making it? Do you enjoy making videos as well? I love making videos. Um, of course, I'm... I really want to do movies one day. That's a, that's a dream of mine that I would like to do. But I have to say that this video was um, probably one of the most stressful things I've ever done in my Are you life. serious? It was. It and show. probably the tip of the iceberg for like doing movies. I'm sure it's nothing compared to what they do in movies. But it's my first time working with uh, Stephen Goldman, who is an incredibly talented director. And uh, I don't know how much time we have to talk about everything that happened during this day. You just... <laughs> But, um, my gosh, we had alligators, we had, um, of course, we shot the video in a bayou in Louisiana. Really? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at that right now. I want to talk about that alligator when we right. come back. Right now, would you do the honors, please, of introducing your video? Sure. Here is my world premiere, my latest single, latest video, Helplessly, Hopelessly. Oh. That was the world premiere of Helplessly, Hopelessly. Beautiful video, but you know what's on everybody's mind. Who's the guy? Oh, who's the guy? Um, his name is Garrett, Garrett Reed, and he is from a, a modeling agency out of Louisiana. This was his first video ever. Really? I thought he did a wonderful job. Yeah. He looked pretty comfortable Yes, to me. he did. Yes, he did. Did you, have a, did you happen to handpick him at all? Yes, we did. You know, Stephen came over to my house a few weeks before we uh, shot the video, and we sat down on the floor, and he puts in this videotape, and he says, okay, this is a little cheesy, you know. They stand on this, uh, they stand in front of this wall, and, uh, you know, they're told to stand here and go, hi, my name is such and such, and uh, I've done this, I've done that, and they tell him to turn to the side. And that's it. That's all you have to look at. But immediately when Stephen and I saw Garrett, we, we thought, well, that is, he looks great, and he looks the part. And, uh, he has yeah. pulled it off. I mean, it was, it was a beautiful video, but the alligator you mentioned earlier, did you see that alligator? Um, we saw several, several that day. You know, um, Stephen is very creative, and he has these ideas that are brilliant. The, you know, they look awesome on camera, but to pull them off, it's uh, a little bit dangerous. He had this idea. He wanted to build a platform in front of, the, in front of the, one of the boats to go in, in the swamp. 
And um, this, uh, this platform, my feet were submerged in water. So I was right at water level with all of the alligators. And so we would be shooting, and, and even in the video, sometimes you can see me turn to the side, and I'm sure out the corner of my eye, I'm looking in it for an alligator because there were several times that there would be one just right around me, and I would say, okay, that's it, you know, I gotta stop. Because you're just stop. hanging out like hors d'oeuvres yeah, for the well, alligators. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, they, it, all the crew guys were saying, it's okay, you know, they do tours all the time, and they just want marshmallows. I said, so they're hungry, <laughs> right? So they're hungry. And then they start getting these metal rods and poking at them, like trying to get them away. I said, oh, that's, oh, that's great. Just get them really mad and hungry, you know. Well, you survived <laughs> and you made it here. Do you guys like the video? Woo! It's beautiful. Jessica, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Totally enjoyed having you. Jessica Andrews, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>